Hi, Brian with Embrilliance. Today we're going to take a look at style sheets in Stitch Artist Level 3. Okay, we would like to create a style sheet. Now how do you do that and why? Well, I'm going to start with a set of objects and these are going to be objects that have stitches and properties that I want to use very often. So here I've created a simple design with some artwork on it, nothing fancy. All it has to do is have a design with objects with the stitch types and the properties that we're going to use uh, often or frequent enough. So here I'm going to create a run with a chain stitch and here we'll make, let's say, a satin border stitch with a little bit of width and some lighter density and perhaps we'll use an applique but with a tackle twill style zigzag stitch on it and this will make into perhaps a fill and something with a high density um, so we could say here's a set of objects that have properties set just the way I want to use them sometimes I just want to not have to go and reset all those properties or remember what they were I want to be able to use things just like this whenever I want to. Okay, so now that we've created those objects, let's save this style sheet using the Create menu, and we'll go to Publish, and we'll go Set Style Sheet. And we can set the style to anything we want. Um, let's call this a demo style. We can do that. And now I'm going to publish it for my use which means it's going to put the style sheet on my computer and there it says it's published it for me and also don't forget to save the working file okay let me go ahead and do that but before I do I'll make a note here that I can also save this style sheet as a BX installer so that if I want to give my style sheet to someone else a coworker, a colleague or you know some students in a digitizing class I can give that to them and it will install on a Mac or a Windows PC. Here I'm going to say OK and I'm going to remember to take my own advice and I'm going to save my working file as demo. And now this is saved so that I can come back later and if I want to edit it I can change actually that style sheet. So now we've saved a style sheet and let's take a look at what we can do with it. Here we are now ready to digitize something. I don't know what I'm going to make, but I'm going to use those styles that we put in the demo style sheet. So let me zoom in a little bit here and let's go ahead and just draw something. Doesn't really matter what, we're just going to draw it. And if I recall, we set the applique property in the style sheet to have demo style. Here it is, applique. And I can choose that in a quick style, of course, right? But I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is set up the digitizer to allow me to use those styles in that style sheet before I begin digitizing. So I'm going to go to the Create menu and I'm going to click on Style Sheet. That opens up this window and here it says Select a Style Sheet for New Objects. And right now it's set at Normal, which would be the default for the digitizer when you got it as level one, two, or three would come out of the box. But now I'm just going to say demo style. So that means any object that I make is going to be created with that demo style. So I'll say OK. And I notice I had my straight lines on before, so I'm going to turn that off. And now we'll just make a curve. There we go. The zigzag is there. If you remember, we had also lightened up the density on the satin, uh, satin border stitch, we had also changed the run stitch to a chain. So let's go and do something like that. Let's just take a run stitch and it shows up with the chain. See, it's picked up that it's going to use the demo style for a run. So what we've done is applied all those object properties as a set of defaults to anything we're going to create from this point forward. It's very handy to do that 
because sometimes you want to switch working on this kind of a project and go to another kind of project or a different type of a different part of a design. Now, a question would be asked, can I change that style sheet at any time I want? And the answer is yes. If I just want to reset everything to the normal properties for new objects, I say OK. And now if I go and click a run, you see it's a normal single run and its property is set to normal. So we can change these at any point in time. Now let's suppose that you have created a number of style sheets and they're all for different purposes. Who knows, you might have 10 or 12 saved off by the time you get done playing around with them or have spent a couple years digitizing. And what you want to do is decide which style sheets have their properties appear on the property pages. Okay, so let's take an example. If I go and create an object, and this is just a normal run of Stitch Artist, and I set a run on it, and I look at the available properties here. I've got normal, which you're always going to have because that's the default for the program, the demo style that we had, and the line ones, and none. Okay, that's a lot of properties in that page, and I may want the line ones, or I may not even want them to be visible. Well, how could we change that? Well, if we go back up to the Create menu and click on Style Sheet again, you'll see that we have Highlight Styles to make them available. In this case, we're creating new objects with the Normal Style, and we also have the Demo Style and the Line Wand Styles available. Let's turn one off and say OK. So now, when I set this object and click on the Quick Style, you'll see the Line Wand Styles are no longer there. If I want to turn off the demo style, again, I'll select nothing so that it'll update the property page for me. Go to Style Sheet, and let's turn uh, the demo style off, and let's put Line 1 back on. OK. So when I click on the object and see what's available, now the demo style is gone and the Line ones are available. So you have tremendous control over what quick styles are available to you at any point in time. And of course, you can set the style that you're going to be digitizing with um, at any point in the digitizing process. We've put a nice size section on style sheets in the manual. And I hope this video helps clarify all the things you can do with them, because they really are very powerful. We'll see you soon in the next video installment of Stitch Artist Level 3 using the controls. Till then, have a great day.